This is Haley Ramson coming to you from Poland. If you look here on the map, we'll give you a better idea. Right there in the middle of Europe. See that pink country? That's Poland. Right next to yellow Germany. I'm here in regards to the upcoming German federal election. September 22nd is right around the corner, but I bet you don't have to remind Angela Merkel, who's the chancellor up for re-election, about that. And you definitely won't have to remind Germans living in Poland, because for the first time, Poland's tiny German minority is allowed to vote in the German election. The decision to allow Germans living outside the country to vote, even if they weren't born there, was made last year by Germany's constitutional court, and this is a freedom that the German minority here in Poland is really excited about. Poland's German community is estimated to be around 350,000 citizens. The German minority is almost entirely located in Lower Silesia, which is an area of Poland that formed part of Germany until 1945 during World War II. Despite this area leaving Germany to join Poland, Ties with Germany have remained strong with many German Poles. A lot of these folks even work and or study in Germany, and the minority often depends on Berlin for the funding of various projects. In fact, some 325 Poland schools still use German as their first language, and the minority has its own press and radio station. These remaining ties have made it easy to welcome this chance to have a say in German affairs. Robert Rasch, chairman of the Union of German Sociocultural Communities in Poland, says that the right to vote, along with the chance to express approval or disapproval of the government, is a unique opportunity to remind German politicians of our existence. Through recogni though recognizing it is nothing more than symbolic, others have described the right to vote as an expression of unity between the German Poles and the greater German nation. It might be expected that Poles would not fully support the German minority's excitement to vote in these German elections, but a quick look at the history of Central Europe reveals many examples of a restless national minority yearning after closer ties with their national homeland, resulting in bloody calamity. Either way, as a whole, Poland remains unperturbed by the situation. In part, this composure is because of the size of the German minority, which, because it is so small, means that it has little significance in Poland, and also because German Poles seem to be happy with the status quo. They want to remain in Poland, the Germans that is, in an area where their families have lived for centuries, and they display little to no protest with their status. In addition, it is unclear how many German Poles will even vote. The German press estimates that approximately 148,000 Polish Germans are eligible to vote, but just how many? will actually cast their ballot. Hard to say, but could be a very interesting turn in this upcoming election. That's all today on German Poles Voice in Germany. This is Haley Abrahamson reporting from Poland. Back to you in the studio.